tried fighting him off while yelling at him to stop. Tonight, a new accuser comes forward, Beverly Nelson, sharing her account of what she says happened to her as a 16-year-old waitress getting a ride home from then-District Attorney Roy Moore. He stopped the car and he parked his car in between the dumpster and the back of the restaurant where there were no lights. The area was dark and it was deserted. I, I was alarmed and I immediately asked him what he was doing. <laughs> Instead of answering my questions, Mr. Moore reached over and began groping me and putting his hands on my breast. I tried to open my car door to leave, but he reached over and he locked it so I could not get out. I tried fighting him off while yelling at him to stop. But instead of stopping, he began squeezing my neck, attempting to force my head onto his crotch. Nelson said she escaped, but I kept quiet because of fear. I thought that he was going to rape me. I was twisting, and I was struggling, and I was begging him to stop. I had tears running down my face. At some point, at some point, he gave up. And he then looked at me and he told me, he said, you're just a child. And he said, I am the district attorney of Etowa County. And if you tell anyone about this, no one will ever believe you. She also shared her high school yearbook. She says more signed earlier that day. The message reading, to a sweeter, more beautiful girl, I could not say, Merry Christmas. Love, Roy Moore, DA. The Senate's top Republican, Mitch McConnell, called for Moore to step down from the Alabama Senate race. I think he should step aside. Or do you believe these allegations to be true? I believe the women, yes. This as more and more Senate Republicans are distancing themselves from the controversial former judge accused of sexually assaulting teenage girls when he was in his 30s. A defiant Moore firing back on Twitter, saying the person who should step aside is Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, denying the accusations head on. Today issuing a statement from his campaign that he has never had any sexual misconduct with anyone and threatening to sue the Washington Post for publishing the allegations. These attacks on involve a minor child, completely unfalse and untrue, and for which they will be sued. Moore's wife of 32 years calls the allegations a witch hunt, coming out on conservative media outlet Breitbart News saying it's just not true, any of it. Even taking to Facebook, claiming the accusers were paid to come forward. In response, one of the accuser's attorneys invited Moore to give a sworn testimony on camera because the truth doesn't hide. In Gadsden, Alabama, a close family friend of the youngest accuser, who was 14 at the time, said it was also fear that held back the truth for decades. Why didn't it come out sooner? We asked Lee every time Judge Roy Moore ran for an office, why don't you tell your story? And she said, who's going to believe me? I was a 14-year-old. Who's going to believe a 14-year-old? A registered Republican herself, she said she would not vote for more. No more! No more! As his credibility hangs on the edge, some Senate Republicans are already signaling support for Senator Luther Strange, who Moore defeated in the primary as a possible write-in candidate. Still, many of Moore's supporters back home are rallying around him. The thing that bothers me about those charges is that he's been in public life, run from many offices, and as many times as this happened, no one's ever said anything t till now. As this latest accuser was holding her news conference, the Moore campaign released a statement reading in part, quote, Gloria Allred, the attorney here, is a sensationalist leading a witch hunt. Judge Moore is an innocent man and has never had any sexual misconduct with anyone. We will pursue all legal options against these false claims, and Judge Moore will 